Hello and welcome. Alright. Uh, let's go see what's up. Well, you're back. She didn't seem happy to see us. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Didn't anyway, Calvert have a daughter? I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Okay. You pack up, I'll go fix the comms building. Tablets are worth a pretty penny. And they're lightweight. Heller's cutter, huh? Switch that over.
Okay. Can only go in this one. Alright. But there does not seem to be one that can go here. That can go in none of them. Okay, so this one's no good. Because I have nothing to uh, pick up any of that other with, I don't think. Nope. Thing to pick that up with. Hmm. Okay, this is on that side. All right. This one's a tricky one. Oh, this one is good, okay. There we go. That one doesn't work anywhere. Before. Yeah, a couple of times. Take a loaf of bread. need to go in there, so I'll go over here. Credits are always good. Permanently increase EM damage. What EM weapon damage. Fish worker mask. I gotta see what it looks like on my face.
I like how you're just standing there while I uh, look at all the little bits and bobs. Power cell required, power cell required. I have, I have. I need another one. Oh no! Wrong button. Oh, tablet. Can I have that? Why is there a whole watermelon in here? I don't know why it's pointed at a robot. for so why is this one lit up on the robot oh you wanna try I'm packing up don't see what good it will do since they're already gone but fine here you need any more Okay. Now I've got several power cells.
Lynn was left here all by herself. So, you actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, Maybe we can talk. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And it's hey, only supposed to be five days. If you ever need a little extra help? I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh... You find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion. We should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Travel to Cruth. Bosco. Hello. We now have all our crew. Let me know when you're ready to launch. Let's see. Yeah. I'll worry about all this later. Let's go. We need to find a way to increase the number of crew. I know before I had a full crew with just Bosco and the adoring fan. I wonder what happens when you... have more than what you're... you got space for. Is, is Kruth in the Narian system? I thought we were jumping. resources on this planet. Ooh. I hear you. I'm going straight for you. You look like an eclectic stiletto. Resources. Don't 
take off as soon as you land. Aww. Took off as soon as they landed. That's three resources. Sweet. Only two more to go. Heller. Oh, hey, it's you. And here I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah, nah, I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You should let us help you. There's no reason for you to have to suffer needlessly. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me... We need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling. Like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh yeah, probably should have talked about that first. Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him. And then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good... <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. 
<sighs> Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. There's something I need to talk to you about. Well, give me a minute, Sarah. We're gonna talk to him, and we're gonna recruit Still him. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Okay. We have... Outpost Engineering, Outpost Management, I wonder... Fosco, we're gonna unassign you. And we're gonna assign you. Okay. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Making sure there's nothing else here. Alright, Sarah, what did you want to say? Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel? Inside. What were your thoughts? Oh my goodness. That must have been... terrifying. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how the science... well, simply fails. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply, and believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made in quite a long time. Okay. Well, we can go figure out what that is figure out what that is or just get back on our ship all right let's not get distracted just give the word and we'll get underway now I'm curious what happened to Vasco Into that thing so we know where we're going. Excuse me, do you have a minute? I'm a scientist. I could use some help with my research. Really? Hello? Do you read me? Glad to see you're back in one piece. 
How have you been? Yes. All right. This'll only take a minute. I'm right here. Be safe. Do you copy, unknown ship? Oh. Oh. I thought that was Lynn. Come on, I want up the ladder. This'll only take a minute. That's funny. This'll only take a minute. Okay, inventory. I need to listen to what's going on. Uh... You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked hey causing there. trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? Do you copy, I can't make out the console. Hello there, and thank you for responding to my hail. <laughs> it's been a long time since I had company. I'm Dr. Sola Banglawala from Mast in New Atlantis. I'm performing a geological survey of the settled systems as part of a field research initiative. I flagged you down to see if you might have any rare geological samples to contribute. I can't thank you enough. I'm in the market for lithium, platinum, and vanadium right now. I'm not asking for much. I know they're hard to come by. I understand. Well, thanks for stopping anyway. I'm going to try my luck in another system. You might want to back up a bit. This old Junker's grav drive is a little on the fritz. Fly safe! Okay. Sorry. So, do you have any hobbies? Oh, a workaholic. I get it. I knew plenty of those at Mast. Personally, I have quite a rock collection. I used to spend my weekends gathering samples on Jemison. Maybe I shouldn't have let that slip at the office, huh? <laughs> That's probably why they sent me on this job instead of some poor grad student. <laughs> huh. You ever hear the one about the geologist in the music shop? Oh my the goodness, what's going on, a lady? The geologist walks into a music store and asks the cashier, Got any rock? The guy looks him up and down and says, Thank you. All right, are we? What do we got here? There's a ship here. Star station, star station. I don't know what a star station is, but I do know what a ship is. Let's travel there. Getting a little distracted, but eh, distractions are fun sometimes. Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking up some food. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Grandma. Okay, this ship is dumb. Alright, let's go. Ten graph jumps with seventy five percent or more of maximum cargo. Where are we at? What star system are we in?
vessel. Okay, let's rescue Barrett. Even imagine to tell you the number of inhospitable worlds like these that I've visited. There's one of two resources. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Whoa, something's out there. Light them up. Oh, you know what? Let's do one of these. Turret? Yep. Maybe. Okay, that takes care of all the guys outside, so let's go investigate some things. Hope I find some med packs, because I'm going to need them.
Yeah, Sarah, walk into that. Alright, I came from up here. This little thing looks important. Oh, because I came from up there. to get back up there. Take the orange, dang it. That's an easier way to get that open. Trying to quickly go through here. Wait, VHS? Gotta have those. Nope. New collection. VHS. <laughs> I like that they used data pad to tell them to clean up and then they used another data pad to say no. Do we not have paper in this game? Wait, was there an upstairs? I believe there was an upstairs. Did I go upstairs? See, upstairs.
Oh! Turrets. Should've hit that. Just wondering if it was gonna be something like that. An outpost key. Wonder where that goes. I'm going to watch our six. Last thing we want, set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. I am. Tell you what, this game has taught me not to hoard things. Which is weird. Mainly, I think I just don't like getting slowed down. Hey, I've got the outpost key. Another outpost key. I don't, why do you have an outpost key? It's, Definitely have those two. Okay, that doesn't work here. Alright, this is the only one that works here. Use that and then go up here. I hope there was a good reason that was locked. Probably was a good reason it was locked. There was some credits in there. Okay, that's where I need to go. That's the last place to go. Uh, probably gonna kill some more people. Do I have a better gun? This is lasers. certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? What's the weirdest thing you've seen? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's go! Oh, ah. Nothing! Nothing! 
What am I stuck on? I can't put There we go. I'm glad you're on my side. Cool. I got you, Barrett. Bodyguards weren't that great. Not sure if I had those ones. Is it? How do I get up there? I came down these stairs. There's a huge difference between being prepared and carrying too much. Am I carrying too much? Looks like I am. Good news. You're not carrying anything. Something you need? I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, I will carry it all. Uh, here, have these two things. Bye for now. Get you on the ship. to the lodge, okay. Ship. 
Captain Turner, may I be of assistance on your ship? I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. And we come back with uh, United Colony Space. Barrett and everybody. While we scan for contraband. Maybe find a new ship that uh, allows to hold more than two people. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. I will land at New Atlantis and then that will be that. So I'll have to do some uh, selling, offloading some gear and stuff. Did you know I used to have an office near the top of Mast? Hmm. How far the mighty have fallen, eh? Alright, with that, I think we will call it good. And I will see you here next time.